Hello everyone, welcome back to Fort Rune Gaming's so Let's Play of Super Mario RPG. And it's finally time to uh, reintroduce, I guess you could say, Joe. Yeah, big commentaries, yep. Mm -hmm. Finally back here on a Mario RPG Let's Play. Yep, and Smithy was nice enough to include save spots in his factory. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah. Like, well, why are these same spots? <laughs> I, I, you would think he would just want to kill you, right? Yeah, no, he's helping us along. But And also, to get across these places, you just got to jump on these corkscrews, like yeah. I guess, or whatever you want to call them. And if you fall, it's not really a big deal, because there's a trampoline down there, which will It'll bounce you right back up. up. Yep, look. It was, literally, face it was literally bouncy to the same spot. Yep. <laughs> Dang, he really wants to accommodate us. My and God. And these uh, these en enemies right here are actually really good for leveling up because they give you 17 XP each. And look how go how fast they go down. Go down quick. What do they call them? Meboids? Amoeboids, I guess. Yeah. Dang. But luck, or hopefully in this episode, we get to the two boss fights we have planned. Oh, there oh, we go well, again. Oh, just use a trampoline. Yeah, with smiley yeah. face. <laughs> I can't believe this. Smithy. Smithy, he has a hard exterior, but I guess he's actually nice. I don't know. You I mean, I. This is so <laughs> creepy. Three I times. guess I've just got to be, yeah, third time is the charm. Awesome. Really. Alright, now you won't fall anymore. Third time is the charm, one. Alright. Anyway, uh, I was saying, hopefully I make it to the second boss fight, but at this rate, I probably won't even make it to the first boss yeah, fight. If he keeps slipping off the bolts or whatever those are. Oops, yeah, switch. Luckily, there's a whole lot of those enemies right here, so yeah. if you want to level up, go ahead and take them out. You already took care of that, right? Yep, and let's go ahead and save, because the boss fight is literally, like, right through that door. Alright. Actually, it's like, there's one more screen, but on this screen, there's a treasure chest that has the ultra hammer in it, but too bad we have the lazy shell. It's not as good. Which, yeah, the lazy shell is way better than that thing. But, you know, the lazy shell is a hidden item, and most people aren't going to find it by themselves, so... There you go. Well, now you don't have to, what is it, rely on the ultra hammer. Yep. Alright, so, now there's a boss fight. As soon as you go off that trampoline, pretty much, I think you might have an opportunity to get yourself ready down there, but let's not take any chances. So, actually, to me, it looks like we're good. Yeah, you all decked out in their best equipment. I think so. So, are we all healed? Yep. All right. right so, I think we're it. ready. All right. Oh. Now, this boss, you might think it's kind of weird, and, and it is. <laughs> uh, what the? It's a clock. It's Mario. It's Mario. <laughs> How did he get here? We better do something. What is going on? Here? What kind of boss is this? But the real kicker is the name of the two oh, things no. on the top. This is Countdown, but his two little things are called... <laughs> oh, my dinglings. <laughs> oh, my... This is, this so is terrible. All right, just take them out. How much HP do they have? The little dingalings on the top. <laughs> this is yeah, this is uncomfortable. Like <laughs> the dingalings have two or 1200 HP. Oh, uh, so this should go down pretty good. Yeah, it's hitting like easy. what 300 to hit. Yep. Oh, it's one o'clock. Oh yeah. Play. So every turn he does a different attack, pretty much. If it hits Peach, she's, she's good. Oh, it's gonna. Hit. He's dead. He's dead. Ready, face plant. <gasps> All right. So you know what? <laughs> Should I get him up or leave him? Go ahead and do his comeback. Get him Fine. up. Fine. He's got that new that uh, good attack thing. Yeah, the star. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Star road or whatever. Yeah, the Geno. We don't blast. know the name. <laughs> the Geno blast. All right. But the Dingling so have 1,200 HP, and the countdown itself has 2,400 HP. Right. And with Mario doing close to 500 damage, you're gonna get us over with pretty quick. But un unluckily. He has a uh, mega recover attack, which will recover like HP of the yeah. clock, but not the dinglings or everything. I think everything actually. Oh my! Come, why do you have to attack the one person that's not immune to face plant again? Ready for another? No, comeback? he's just gonna turn into a scarecrow. Oh! <laughs> oh let's let's try to fail. let's try to turn him into a double scarecrow. All right. That makes no sense. There it didn't Pop. work. <laughs> yeah, see, time to recover. Aw, uh, he's gonna. Oh. He better. Okay, he recovered something I really hadn't attacked yet, all so right, that's alright. Keep working on that left dingling. Yep. Right. Right. the right. <laughs> <laughs> it's my left, right from here. It's my left. His yeah. right. All right. If you use Peach's therapy or group hug attack, by the way, I've probably mentioned this a hundred times, but it will it will get rid of status ailments, so I can actually turn him back into a doll. Ah, it's like a Suna. Yeah, from Final Fantasy. Yep, had to make the reference. And speaking of that, I saw you did an attack up on Mario. That's the same exact system they use in Final Fantasy 13, buffs and debuffs, so maybe it originated here? Is this a Square Enix game? Yeah, well, it's remembered by Square Saw. Oh, back yeah, that's right. Doing... Back when they were good, yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't mean to rip on Final Fantasy XIII, but that is one of the first games I've ever started and could not play more than an because hour. Because it is so linear to the point where you're just running down a hallway the Liter whole game. It's not Final Fantasy. <laughs> you're running down a hallway until like 70% in, and then you get to play Final Fantasy. It's not right. 
when the thing is when I took care of or took control of what is her name? Lightning Seville or something like that? Uh is that sure. girl? Sarah? I don't think so. Oh Vanille. Vanille, there yeah. There you go. She, like, that area was actually decently open. Yeah. But then immediately after that, you take control of lightning and it's instantly linear again. Yep, and, and I'm like, shame. Oh, because the game had so much potential. 13.2 doesn't look like it did that much, you know, better. No, 13.2, I actually, I, well, I've heard the story's better at least. Yeah. I, I've not, I haven't played 13 enough to be able to tell how no. good it is. Dang, 600 <laughs> damage. <laughs> That's like, what, one-fourth of his life right there? Yeah, really. Alright, put him down. Alright, maybe this will take him out. Uh, no. Okay. no. But Final Fantasy, like, I've always liked... I, I even like the old ones. One, two, I've heard yeah. good things about four... Even twelve. I am a fan of twelve. I like twelve from what I've played. But thirteen, I literally just could not play. You know, it gets boring. You literally... The whole incentive for me when I played it is just cutscene to cutscene to develop and keep moving on the story. Yep. That's it. Which is kind of sad, considering how much I played Final Fantasy, like, 10, for instance. Oh, yeah. What was wrong with that kind of game? Nope. It was apparently too open. Apparently, they couldn't, like, do everything they wanted to do within the time constraints or something for the release that's date. That's why you put the release date back. It, it The thing took, like, six years to make, and that's all they can oh, do. It debuted in, like, 2006. Maybe not six years. I think it was 06 or 05. Yeah, but luckily, Bowser's getting a level up oh. here. Let's give him a, an attack Power increase. Level up. There you go. But ding -ling and Countdown are done. Let's All right. Save just in case. Yeah, be safe here. I think we're level 23 still. Okay, fine. There you go. I kind of want to get to level 30. I'm is that probably, the cap? Yeah, 30 is the cap hey, in this game. Fallout. Yeah, it is. Isn't yeah. It? Hey, speaking of Fallout, hopefully they announce a Fallout game this year at E3. Yeah, E3, like, it's shaping up to be pretty good. I read, though, about, like, the new Xbox news. I read that Microsoft isn't even going to address it at E3 at yeah, all. Yeah, I've read that, too. Yeah, I'm like, come on. It's gonna Unfortunately. be all about the 360. When they say that, you know it's gonna be all about Connect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Real quick, if you notice there are Axum Rangers here, which we took out a couple episodes ago, so you might be wondering how they're here. Uh, they're actually here because Smithy is making copies of them. Yes, he's manufacturing what all the enemies in the game looks like. Yeah, pretty much. We'll actually encounter some bosses that we fought earlier in the game pretty soon, so that's kind of cool. Dang. And this area right here is really, really good for leveling up. Oh, come on. Oh, one of those come things hitting you shuffles or something? They're arrows being shot by Boyer. Remember him? Oh, yeah. Wow, he's old. He's right from the very beginning of the game. Yep. Oh, come Dang. on. These things are more accurate than I remember. Are you? Oh, there, boss fight. Go. All right. Oh. Oh, good. I was oh, just barely... Was You've got to be kidding that me. Boyer was... has, like, a freaking fully auto crossbow. Yeah, <laughs> Let's see. This is Mac, by the way, the first boss in the game, which I dodged the Dang arrow. Dang, close. Now, this part's, like, a pretty decent platforming section if you fall off. The conveyor belts will push you, and what happens? Down to a trampoline. Oh, there's of course. There's nothing down here. Yeah, I think right back here. there, uh, back where I got the ultra hammer, I think if you fall off right there, there's actually some... Uh, like spikes? Like, no. Oh my oh, god! I, I, I'm expecting <laughs> Smithy to want to kill Mario. No, there's items down there. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Spike. <laughs> I'm thinking in Mortal Kombat. Did. Yeah. Speaking of that, I watched the the Mortal Kombat. What was the recent one that came out? Eight or nine or? Uh, yeah, I think it was eight. Well, whichever one it was, I watched all the fatalities in that game. They are brutal. Yeah. It's just called Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, mean, I know they're known for that, but yeah. But they're brutal. Their brutality is ridiculous. I know, in, I think it was uh, Mortal Kombat Gold on the N64. Dang. They had the classic, every time you lost a battle, you would fall down this pit of, like, right into spikes and get impaled. Yeah. Every time. You probably played it. I remember back when I used to play Mortal Kombat when I was, you know, young, eight, when I should definitely be playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I could never, ever get the fatalities. Like, never. No, even in the new one, the, the demo, I had the demo, I can't get the fatalities. Well, I might as well go ahead and, go ahead and show the spite here. These are the actual some rangers, but they're really, like, cheap. Yeah, they're machine-made. Oh, well, I can't even hit them. But they're, yeah, they're machine-made, and the point of this is they're made in mass numbers, but the quality is low, so you oh, can actually oh, beat them really so easily. it's quantity over quality. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Which, in a go. game where you can infinitely re refill your HP, <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, What's Smithy, come on. Yep. You want to finish me off in one hit, you don't want to. <laughs> Alright. And I think, I'm, I can't really tell, I think that's pink, red, and green right there. What? Even though they're gray. Oh, dang, I see what you're saying. All right. Oh, there, mushrooms. mushrooms. Let's uh, heal that up real quick. Group hug. That's the ultimate, there. like, that ability. That is, like, if that was in any game today, kids would be all I'm over using it. It's overpowered. No, forget it. It comes in handy. Yep. All right, so is there any... Oh, hey, they're missing stand. I don't know how Mario can miss with that giant turtle shell, by the way. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but is there any comments, or not comments, Any anything you wanted to talk about? Anything uh, you can think of? Let me see. 
Not much, really. Anything in the way of GTA 4 that you haven't talked about? Oh, well, GTA 4, the update on that is, what, we have, like, 20-something races left in the Petra yep, Vic? 25 we are, for me. Yeah, I got, like, I thought I had 28, but apparently I missed one way back in the races. We're on GTA races now. Yeah, luckily, I was I was just happening to look, like, I was making sure my records for myself were right, so I didn't miss a race. And I happened to see that Joe missed a race. Yeah, I missed a cannonball run, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, now, if I would have went through all of the GTA races and he got his achievement, I got screwed. <laughs> all right, we had to take out a boyer there. All right, now not really I, worth leaving. So to continue what I was gonna say. Yeah, well, okay. I don't you explain yourself. Yeah, now I, I don't want to just sound like I just screamed. I'll get screwed. No, if he got the achievement, and I didn't get my achievement, and I would have had to gone through all of my stats again. That would have been terrible. After how many hours of work do you think we put in this thing already? At least, and I have to be this guy, by the way, so might as well leave him in here. But we've put at least what forty? Yeah, it's literally been like every night. For at least three hours a night. It's so it's ridiculous. Where we we used to get on and just play games online, everything, I, have fun. Yeah. Now it's like straight business. Yep. It's literally like the greeting when we get in the party is, "All right, you ready? Yeah. Four. Exactly. All right, let's go." It's hey, a, kick that kid. There you go. All right. You know how like we. I feel dirty about how we have to go about getting the achievement. Yeah, it's ridiculous, because if you try to do it legit, it's never gonna happen. No, the thing is, like, you have to kick kids out of your party. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out of your, yeah. like, lobby. Or they... You can't start the match with them in there, because you want to let the other kid win, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, you only want the match to be you and your friend, or you're gonna get... Because if you have a third one, what do they call them? Randoms? Randoms. Yeah, yes. they'll just screw it all up. All right, so that's that's yeah, that's what takes the most time is we call it sweeping. I think I talked about this in Resident Evil. Okay. Yeah, you, we have to sweep the lobby out so that they start their game. We leave, then it's hopefully we'll find our own lobby. It takes forever. It's really like it's. I think the experience is uh put a no, whole new light on the term boosting for me. Oh my god! I remember when I went for seriously two point. I was just gonna say that. I thought that was forever. Like it took forever, but that was only maybe ten hours at the tops. Yeah, and we spent that. And maybe but a week. Four in. times over already. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna go for seriously probably now because I've been battle hardened. Dang. Yep. I mean, that achievement is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. No. And even their other one, it's like the sister achievement to that, the wanted. That's yep. even worse. Yep. Oh At least God. that, you don't have to kick kids. And yeah, whoa. true, but that takes even longer. Yep. And by the way, there's a little area over here that might not be obvious that has flowers in it. All right. Well, and a mushroom. There you go. All right. Oh, oh. I haven't fought these yet. Might as well show. Whoa! <laughs> There's Dang. a hippopo and a ninja. Dang. Yeah, I oh. guess they are. You know that blue thing over there reminds me. A hippo reminds me for some reason of Mr. Popo from. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Yeah, the black guy. No, but he's. Bl that's he, what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. He's black, but in the kids WB version or whatever like for kids on yeah, that channel with the English dub, they turned him blue. Really? Because apparently it I is don't, racist. racist. Oh my god. So Are you kidding? How is it racist? If I remember right, he doesn't even have any like African American he's, features no, or anything. He's just pure black. Yeah. Apparently we're not allowed to have that. I just think if the artists wanted it that way and it's not blatantly it's racist. racist. Like, <laughs> That's just abusing. What would you call that? Creative license or something? I, don't I know. guess. But when you when I looked at that, I was like, "Dang, Dragon Ball Z is coming on." Let me watch. Mr. Popo is blue. <laughs> awesome. That's Come dirty. Dang, is that the is that the uh, Dragon Ball Kai or Z Kai? Yeah. Have? Kai. Yeah. Well, that's a dirty day. And I can understand in the Nickelodeon version, they actually have to censor a lot of stuff, like blood. Yeah. I can kind of understand that because it's Nickelodeon. But what I didn't get was they're showing. Oh, here's a boss. Oh, button. dang. Let me explain this, and I'll talk more about that. We <laughs> the, the sound effects in this game are ridiculous. <laughs> Behold, they've taken the bait. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> I guess I can spare a few minutes. Maybe they'd like to play. All right, the mechanics of this fight here, it's Cloaker and Domino. Now, what you want to do is take out... I mean, what the only thing you can do is take out one at a time, and the one that you don't beat will retreat and, like, form a bond with a snake. It's kind of hard to explain. What? So, <laughs> I'm going to leave Domino because he's the weaker of the two. I'm going to take out Cloaker. All right. Just because. All right, so I probably should have used a Geno boost. There, I would think Cloaker would have the cloak. Whatever. Well, <laughs> I guess. I can kind of see that. Yeah. The only reason you would want to take out Domino first is he has magic attacks. But since we have Peach with the lazy shell and infinite re like revives, yeah, not really worth it. 
Dang, so Cloaker is only physical and Domino is magic? Yep. So they're a perfect duo here. Dang, that's uh, another Final Fantasy reference I can make there. <laughs> dang, what is it? Lost Number, remember that, uh, the hidden boss fight in the Shinra Mansion? He's half magic, he's half oh, physical. Dang. Just like this. This game, I mean, it gotta give us well, some credit. Well, you know, dang. Square... And, or Sony and Nintendo were gonna have that console together. Yeah, that's right. They were gonna it, uh, I think they're gonna develop a CD attachment for, for the, the Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, they were. And if you look at the original like prototype images for, I think wow. it was like Panasonic. I think it was yeah, that, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. But if you look at the prototype images for the PlayStation One, it's pretty interesting to see because it looks almost exactly like a Super Nintendo, but it says PlayStation One on it. No, I haven't seen the prototype pictures of this. But, uh, so yeah, what were we talking about before we started? Uh, Mr. Popo? Mr. Popo and how they abuse their creative license with censoring Dragon Ball Z yeah. Kai or whatever. Dragon Ball Z Kai, or Dragon Ball Kai, I forgot what they call Isn't it. Isn't it just like a, like, it's, general rundown of the series? It's the same thing, but they cut out pretty much all the filler. So in a bridge version? Yeah, pretty okay. much. Alright, so we beat Cloaker. Phew, what weaklings. How shameful if they were to defeat me. Alright. So he's gonna retreat. Bounces back. And this walking scene is the same exact thing that we saw in Cal King Calamari's little thing. Oh, the yeah, the squid, yeah. So I think they've reused an animation. Oh, well. <sighs> but anyway, the, they showed the Dragon Ball Z Kai, like, completely censored and everything. But then they showed Dragon Ball GT, which has blood and all kinds of stuff without On censoring. Nickelodeon? Yes. Are you kidding me? And the movies they show, like the Dragon Ball Z movies, are yeah. censored. Well, that's uh, double standards right there. Yeah, so I don't know what in the world's going on, but... Whatever. It's completely, like... Why don't they just re-air reruns of Dragon Ball Z? No. So, well, I guess kids' attention spans these days aren't long enough to it's watch ridiculous. a show like that, so... I guess that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, that, it's a shame, really. It really is. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> it was kind of annoying when I was a kid for to wait, have to wait, like, a whole... Like a week between episodes, only to have them yelling for a whole episode. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like the classic Dragon Ball Z and yell. Stuff, yeah. Or they would power up for a whole two weeks. <laughs> awesome. Literally two weeks. Day. The classic thing with that is there was an attack where Frieza was, or Goku was powering up for five minutes in the show, but it lasted Literally? like two weeks. Oh my god! Or it lasted two episodes. I mean, but in the show it was supposed to be a whole five minutes, and they drag it. And it was a whole sixty minutes in real life. Him or just something powering like up. Something like that happened. Oh my god. But you can see how I'm not sure about the That's exact a little time. gratuitous there. It really is. But we beat Dope Doker. Oh, I was gonna call Domino him King Cobra. And, uh. and Mad Adder. If you had beaten Domino, it would have been Cloaker and Earthlink, so Oh dang it. Earthlink a snake too. Yep. Oh. Alright, before we continue here, I wanna go ahead and end the episode because we're up to actually like twenty minutes. Really? Yeah. Dang! Alright, well we came back strong on here with yep. no commentary. Well, hopefully the last episode will actually be the last episode yeah, of so Super Mario play. RPG. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this episode, and I wanna see you guys back for the finale. Yep, see you next time.